Hi friends, it's time for class. Welcome to Learning at the Lake. Welcome to day one of Learning at the Lake. We're gonna start with the first part of the alphabet. Sing the alphabet song with me. A, B, C, D, B, F, G. Let's go have some fun learning at the lake. What's this letter? A. A is for apple and acorn. Acorns are seeds that grow into oak trees. A is for anchor. The anchor keeps the boat in one place. It's time for review. Tap, tap, tap. Put on my thinking cap. Tap, tap, tap. Put on my thinking cap. Do you have your thinking cap on? Okay, let's review. What are some things that started with the letter A? Do you remember that tiny little seed that grows into a big oak tree? It's called an a acorn. That's right. What else starts with A? Can you pick red or green or yellow yummy fruit from a tree that starts with an A? It's an apple. Do you remember what that is called that keeps the boat still? in the water. Hey, it's called an anchor. Great job. What letter's next? What's this letter? B. B is for bird and butterfly. B is for branch. B is for boat. This is a pontoon boat. There are canoes, fishing boats, sailboats, speed boats, lots of different kinds of boats on the lake. Hi, Ben! B is for buoy, bobbing in the lake. Buzz! Look at those two long antenna. Friends, I want to show you one of my favorite kinds of trees. It starts with a B. Birch. Isn't it pretty? It looks like it has stripes. I think it's so cool. There are different kinds of birch trees. Some are called paper birch. You can see the bark starts to peel away and kind of looks like rolled up paper. It's time for review. Now we're on to the letter B. Do you remember what things started with the letter B? There were a lot of them. Put on my thinking cap. Tap, tap, tap. Put on my thinking cap. Well, how about those things that are on trees? There's a trunk of a tree, and then those things that come out that hold the leaves are called branches. How about something that makes this sound? A bird. Right. How about something that a caterpillar turns into? A butterfly. Way to go. You're really thinking, what is that thing that was in the water that I was on? It was floating and we were driving it a boat. Do you remember that big orange ball that was bobbing in the lake? Do you remember what that was called? A buoy. Kind of a funny sounding name, isn't it? Let's say that together. Buoy. It's just something that's in the lake to let people know where they can go fishing, where they can go boating, where it's safe to swim, those are good things to have in the lake. Do you remember my favorite kind of tree? It was those pretty white trees with the black stripes. It's called a b -b 
birch. Great job. You really remembered a lot of things that start with the letter B. What letter's next? What's this letter? C. C is for cone. Did you know pine cones are really seeds? C is for cat and carrot. Clover. Let me show you one of the clover. You can see it has three leaves. Do you see what kind of shape the leaf is? It's a heart. And it has three of those heart-shaped leaves. One, two, three. Have you ever found a four-leaf clover? I haven't, but I'm told that if you find one, it's good luck. It's time for a review. Put on your thinking caps. Tap, tap, tap. Put on my thinking cap. Are you ready? We're on to the letter C. Do you remember something that started with C? How about those pine c -c cone? Yeah, pine cones are seeds that grow into trees. Do you remember that plant that I showed you that had heart-shaped leaves? A c -c clover. That's right. How about a vegetable that grows in the garden? It's orange and it's kind of triangle-shaped. Bunnies like to nibble on them. Carrots. Great job. What letter comes after C? A, B, C. What's this letter? D. D is for duck and dock. I see mama ducks and daddy ducks. There are a lot of them. It looks like they're getting ready to fly off of the dock. Ready? Three. Two, one. D is for duck and dragonfly and dandelion. Look at this cool dragonfly. Do you see its four transparent wings and big compound eyes? Hello. You can see everywhere at once. This dragonfly has the coolest markings. Look at the colors. It looks like it's made out of metal. Let's slow this down. I took a dandelion clock and very gently brushed up against him. Watch how he wiggles his body to move. Isn't that amazing? It's time for a review. We're on the letter D. Do you remember something that starts with D? Something that quacks. Quack, 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 quack. A duck. That's right. What were the ducks sitting on? A dock. That's right. Do you remember the fast flyer in the insect world? A dragonfly? Great job. What letter's next? A, B, C, D. What's this letter? E. E is for evergreen. Look at this tiny little evergreen tree. It's going to grow into a big evergreen, just like this. Whoa, it's so big. E is for eagle. Do you see that bald eagle flying in the blue sky? He went right over our boat, soaring and looking for fish. Do you see the eagle in the tree? It had caught a fish and was eating it. It's time for a review. All right, put on your thinking cap. Tap, tap, tap. Put on my thinking cap. We're on the letter E. Do you remember something that starts with E? There was a great big bird with a white head that was sitting in the tree. It's called an eagle. That's right. Eagles are so 
cool. That kind with the white head is called a bald eagle. And the baby eagles, they aren't born with a white head like that. They get that when they're older. And the eagles around the lake love to go fishing. Can you think of that little tree that starts with an E? It makes an eh, eh sound. An eh, evergreen. Yeah, an evergreen tree. Sometimes people use evergreen trees as their Christmas trees. Great job on the letter E. What letter comes next? A, B, C, D, E. What's this letter? F. F is for fish and frog. This is a depth finder on the boat. It tells how deep the lake is. It's also a fish finder. Look at all those fish. Do you see the numbers? That tells how deep the lake is where that fish is. Here come some more. Little fish and big fish. Here are little fish called minnows that we use for fishing for bigger fish. Hello, little fish. How many fish do you see? Let's count them. One, two fish. F is for fern. Don't the leaves look like feathers? Do you see that feather on the ground by the leaves? That's a goose feather. And at night, you might see a bug that lights up. It's called a firefly. And there's something else that can light up at night. Uh -huh. Flashlight. Do you love flashlights? I do too. I see it shining on my arm. Ooh, when it gets farther away, I can't see it. But when it gets closer, I can see the circle of light. You should try that if you have a flashlight at home. F is for fire. Is this a real fire? No. It's just pretend. Did you ever roast marshmallows? Or eat s'mores? What are these? flowers. It's time for a review. Put on your thinking cap. Tap, tap, tap. Put on my thinking cap. We're on the letter F. There were a lot of things I showed you with the letter F at the lake. Can you think of something? Fish. That's right. What is something that lights up at night. A firefly, a fire, or a flashlight. All of those things can light up at night. What about something that ducks, birds, and geese have? F feathers. Great job. All right, friends, we're on to our next letter. What letter comes after F? A. B, C, D, E, F. What's this letter? G. G is for grapes. G is for grass. I can see you. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> it's time for a review. Put on your thinking cap. Tap, tap, tap. Put on my thinking cap. We're on the letter G. Hmm, a fruit that you can eat that's in bunches. They're little, round, g -g grapes. Hmm, I love grapes. They're so yummy. A bird that flies and it makes a honking sound. Honk, honk. Goose. Yeah, we saw lots of goose feathers. Good thinking. Good and great. Starts with G. This was so fun. Bye.